lesions of the shoulder. We start with pasta lesion, which is usually seen in athletes. So what is pasta? It is partial articular surface supraspinatus tendon avulsion. So it is partial, not complete, and it is articular, not the bursal, and it is the supraspinatus tendon avulsion. So it is a partial tear of the rotator cuff and it is difficult to diagnose, and arthrogram may help in the diagnosis. The tear can be seen on ultrasound or on an MRI. The MRI or MRI arthrogram in upper position, which is abduction, extended rotation, is more accurate in showing this lesion. The arm will be above the head, in the scanner. The normal cuff is about 10 to 12 millimeter in thickness. If exposed bone between the cuff and the articular margin is more than 7 millimeter, then there is at least 50% thickness tear. This is a classic indication for surgery. When the lesion is less than 50% and painful, you can debride that. If the lesion is more than 50% and painful, you can repair that. The physician may complete the tear to become a full thickness tear, then repair that tear. Rotator cuff tears can be full thickness or it can be partial thickness. The partial can be partial articular sided supraspinatus tendon avulsion, the pasta, so it is an articular tear, which is the most common type, or it can be bursal tear, and you call it reverse pasta lesion, or it can be concealed interstitial delamination, or intersubstance tear. Pasta may be associated with internal impingement, which is different than external impingement. In the external impingement, it is subacromial impingement. There is a bursal pathology. In internal impingement, the pathology is on the undersurface of the cuff. So pasta may be associated with internal impingement. 